to do. I wish to uh, present my exclusive work on K wiring techniques in orthopedics. Uh, K wire is a special instrument implant which has been there for more than 100 years. But unfortunately, many people they don't use it very meticulously and uh, the techniques has not been refined for the last so many years. And what we have done is we have put forth is and standardized the method of fixing the fractures, especially hand fractures, foot fractures, uh, shoulder fractures and also some of the elbow fractures. So we have described an exclusive method of uh, fixing these complex small bone fractures, small bone long fractures in the hand uh, and also in the uh, wrist. Many times the elderly, elderly people they get uh, because of osteoporosis fractures in the wrist joint and uh, you may need to go for some complex plating, plating of the fractures which is an open method and uh, such sort of complex open surgeries are avoided by using this K wire simple implant. One of the big advantages of using K wire is a very simple and uh, easy way of performing a small operation which is a minimally invasive. When we say minimally invasive it is something like you call laparoscopy. So similar to that without opening uh, the fracture site from outside percutaneously using a small nick like a pinhole procedure you introduce this implant and then transfix the fracture in good position and this is done by the uh, scan control. We have a fluoroscopy machine in theatre with which we reduce these fractures and put it back into normal position and uh, fix these fractures. So that is a big advantage. So complex opening, opening a fracture and undergoing a big procedure especially in elderly or diabetic patients uh, is unnecessary. And the other big advantage is scarless because you don't have a uh, operative uh, incision so there is no scar formation so which is again a big plus. Obviously it is a bloodless procedure where you don't lose any blood at all and being minimally invasive it is less cost, effect, uh, cost effective for the patient. They pay, the patient spends less amount of money for it. Uh, recent technology and the good care and this means the patient hospital stay is very less they will stay for a day or two in the hospital and rehabilitation is very quick because you don't dissect any soft tissues so not much of pain first patients they don't have much pain in the post-operative period and easy to mobilize the fingers and the hand and the operative limb is, uh, is mobile from day one so which is a very big advantage. In olden days, whenever you fix a fracture, you, you tend to immobilize, you know, you know, you're trying to put some supports or uh, uh, splints or some sort of external uh, POP, plaster of Paris uh, slabs and casts, which is avoided by uh, putting this K wire, where after putting the, fixing the fracture, you start mobilizing from day one. So obviously you don't end up in stiffness so which is again a very very big advantage if you ask me which is the common group where we can uh, fix use this implant many times in all the hand fractures in whatever age group i think this is the standard implant and uh, if you ask me in pediatric population i mean the children where they commonly get fractures of the elbow elbow fracture is very very common they have a fall on an outstretched hand and they break the bone uh, the elbow gets deformed, distorted and you would have seen many times uh, the old mal healed fractures, the, the arm is crooked and distorted. These are all because of some native treatments they had or some sort of poor treatment they had on at the time of fracture. So these things are avoided nowadays. So because uh, these, these patients they come to the hospital at the earliest and we try to get the fracture fragment into a good position under scan control. And once the fracture falls back into the normal position, from outside we use the small KOIS to anchor to fix these fractures. So which is again a big advantage. So patients, they are very happy, children is very happy that uh, we are not opening the fracture to put it back into the right position and use a plate or a screw. Again in children if you use a plate or some implant inside, definitely you need to take it out after one year which is again one more operation. 
So which is avoided by using a K wire where at the end of three or four weeks, once the fracture heals, uh, you remove the pin in the outpatient department without much pain or hustle. So which is again a very, very big advantage. And most important thing is very, very, very cost effective. I mean, if you see the implant is less expensive, so where you shell out of money for 20,000, 30,000 here, they may call the total expense may cost only five to 10,000. So which is almost one third uh, the cost, you know, this is a cost cutting procedure. Uh, another important thing which I want to tell you, this can be done in no and corner of anywhere in the world and you don't need a big inventory or a big investment and only thing is you need to learn the technique of uh, how to master doing this particular procedure. I wish to uh, show my work, this is my exclusive book on K-wiring techniques in orthopedics and uh, I advise all the orthopedic postgraduates and uh, junior consultants who are doing uh, the prior practice, the pract uh, they can get the tips and tricks of how to do a K-wire uh, starting from the tip of the finger to the toes. So I have given all the illustrative demonstration of all types of fractures, how it can be fixed and what are the technicalities one should adopt in uh, fixing these fractures. This book is uh, forward is written by Jesse Jupiter. Uh, he is the past president of uh, HAP, American Hand Surgery Society. And uh, I'm also glad to say that Dr. Rasavadi also is one of the uh, who's written a foreword on this book on uh, K-wearing techniques. And uh, I'm sure this will be a masterpiece you can have in your shelf. Day-to-day -day practice, this will be of very immense help. Thank you.